Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Matty and Nemo. Uh, if you remember last week, we took a video up on our Facebook page of me and Liam reacting into the Batman vs Superman five to ten second, I think it was like mini teaser for a trailer. I was I was so excited, and we weren't expected to get the trailer until today. Time yeah, differences. Yeah, that was the plan. Yeah, yeah today's four twenty. Light it up. So yeah, we were we were all waiting, and I think my biggest anticipation was uh, the Star Wars trailer. But uh, we got both. And actually, there's another trailer that I don't know if Liam has seen or not, but we'll talk about that too. So here we go. We're talking about trailers today. Matty and Liam will talk about trailers that are fucking class. Yes, yes, we were spoiled. It's been a big week for trailers. And I think I know what trailer you're talking about that you think we haven't seen. But I'm going to blow your socks off and tell you that I have seen it. What is it? Bridget Jones 4. What? No, Fantastic 4. <laughs> Fantastic for yes. Yeah, am I right? Really liked it, but I also really, really enjoyed the first trailer they put out, the teaser trailer. I thought it was really well done. It was a movie I wasn't very excited about, actually. I was kind of yeah. had any reservations about it. Yeah, but... me too. Uh, I know the original two movies uh, have their knockers. <laughs> Ew! Uh, but I appreciate them for what they are. You know, you could say it's a, it's a very kind of family friendly Definitely. type thing with the humour and what have you. But that was shit. Let's face it, they're not terrible movies, you know? So I was kind of like anything else. I was like, oh, here we go. What are they going to do with the revamp? And they kind of did something that I sort of suspected they would, which was make the cast all fucking teenagers. But having seen the trailer, it's actually already, it doesn't look like there's too much focus on the fact that they're fucking young and beautiful, you know? Yeah, I was of the same opinion. I was very concerned when they cast uh, Jamie Bell and Miles Teller. Which one is Miles? Miles Teller is playing Reed Richards. Yeah, the, the stretchy guy from Fantastic yeah. Four. I'm not a massive Fantastic Four fan. But uh, I was kind of concerned they cast him and Jamie Bell just because Jamie Bell, for some reason, I just think of Bridget Jones' Diary. Oh, not Bridget Jones' Diary. Fucking Billy Elliot, isn't that the one? Yeah. You, had, you said Bridget Jones earlier, so I have yeah. it on the mind. But uh, I had this image of the thing tap dancing and doing ballet for some reason. Yeah, I can't really take to the guy. Never liked him. No, there's something about him, isn't there? Yeah, something about his face. I just want to take a run and punch yeah. at it. <laughs> exactly, and it's unexplainable. There's no real decent reason for the hate. He's done nothing to annoy me, but he's the thing, isn't he? Yes, he's playing the thing. That was a bold that's move. I mean, he's probably one of the biggest actors in that film, JB Bell. Yeah, yeah, I mean? covering him up completely. Yeah. Something that I thought was interesting the director said the reason he picked Jamie Bell is because Jamie Bell has this anger just bubbling under. When you look at him, he just looks angry, which I was like, no, <laughs> not at all. But, uh, so we, we caught our glimpses of the powers. Johnny Storm, Human Torch. I think he looks great. thought the way they did that was really good. I think The Thing looks really good. looks definitely better than the, like you mentioned, the two movies I made before. Like The Thing in those movies looks very cartoony. It just looks like some lad. That occurred to me. And what it reminded me of was when you look at, uh, say, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. Yeah. And you look back to the 90s version. Those fucking rubber masks, those rubber suits. Yeah. That's what the thing from Fantastic Four, 19, Blade, 98, or whatever fucking year it was out. That's what he looks like. He looks yeah. like a big stupid turtle suit, you know? What did you, what did you think of Dr. Doom? Or Doom, as he's being called? Well, I actually didn't even cop him. Who was he in the trailer? He's the chap with the metal mask. No, no, I know the mask, but who was he, like, character-wise, when he's just a normal guy? I don't know who he is character-wise, but uh, I know he's definitely in that trailer. His name, his character's name in the... The movie is Victor Domashev. Yeah, I remember uh, the, the original movie. He was it actually it was sort of like, like Poland, but it wasn't quite Poland. It was somewhat of a made up place. Latveria. Yeah. He was called Victor Von Doom in those movies. <laughs> they just call him Victor Domashev or just Doom in this movie. But uh, yeah, he, I think he looks pretty good. Uh, yeah. Apparently, he's a hacker. Okay. People are very angry about that. Why? Because in the comics. Uh, and like I said, I'm not a massive Fantastic Four fan, so this is just what I'm reading from what everyone else is saying. Uh, Doctor Doom is like this complete badass, like an absolute badass. He's like the Cal Drogo of the Marvel world. Like he just fucking kills people and he just oh, goes mental okay. all the time. And turning them into an internet blogger is just kind of like, the people just feel like they're just kind of fucking messing them around a little bit. They, they've watered them down. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, that trailer was very good. Got me excited for the mo for a movie I was not excited about whatsoever. The first trailer, and then this one just got me very, very, very fucking excited for it. No, it was. It was decent. And I noticed they have a guy now. He's uh, Daddy Storm. Yes. And he seems to be uh, some sort of minority. 
not quite full on black, but somewhere in between. No. Somewhere in that grey like, area. Uh, it's like dairy milk. Yeah. So at least we have so, some sort of an answer to the question we've been asking for months. How are Sue Storm and Johnny Storm not the same colour? Or I think I'm guessing maybe she's just adopted. You never know. So I think uh, if if I had to rank the, the three main trailers that came out over the weekend, I would definitely put the Fantastic Four trailer as my third trailer. You know, in ranking them, that would be number three. I mean, this thing could have been the greatest trailer to ever come out, but for me, it was never going to be Batman or Star Wars. So it's, no. it's number three for me. Not a hope. You know, give it a give it a mark out of ten. If you had to give it a mark out of ten, what would you say about the trailer? I'm gonna go with seven. It's I and mean, it's a good trailer, but I'm not like I'm not doing for this movie. And mainly because it's still that, that same fucking thing that uh, The Amazing Spider-Man did, which is like, you're seeing this trailer, you've heard about this movie, okay, here comes the trailer, we're going to see what it's like. Ah, I see what it's like. It's basically the same fucking origin story again with slightly better graphics. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's, that's nobody's fault. That's, that's something, you know, they had to do. They had to do this because they're kind of rebooting it. So fair enough, you're going to give us the origin again. But you're going to have to show me something else to make me go, holy shit, I have to see this in the pictures. That yeah. looks good, and I'm I'm still not getting that. Interestingly, yeah. you brought up the Amazing Spider-Man too. The way they, mm. or the Amazing Spider-Man, the way they reboot and they told the origin again. Uh, Kevin Feige, the chap who's in charge of Marvel, yeah. Marvel have Spider-Man back. You know, they said when they launch Spider-Man again, they're not doing an origin story because they said everybody knows Spider-Man's origin story. Yeah, even non non comic book fans know it. So like, there's no point. It's just wasted yeah. in half an hour, forty minutes of a movie that nobody wants to see again. It's the same with Batman. I mean, no one needs to see the Batman origin story. Batman, Superman, Spider-Man. Every, every fucking Tom, Dick and Hardy knows their origins. You really don't need to keep rehashing it. Although I will say, I'm glad they did. In a way, I'm glad they rebooted. The, in just Batman Begins. I mean, the way they redid the origin, I thought was really good because they actually showed them fucking off and training and all that shit. So I'll give them that. Yeah. I'll let, that's the only time. You watch like Batman, the Tim Burton one. Batman Returns, mm-hmm. Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. They all show the origin story at some point in the movie. Do they? Like as if we need, yeah, as if we need to be reminded of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, hey, what do you do? So I'm gonna give the, uh, I'm gonna give the Fantastic Four trailer a seven out of ten as well. Got yeah. me interested, but I was already excited by the first trailer. This didn't make me that much more excited. I kind of feel bad for them that they're they're not getting much airtime. You know, not nobody's yeah. talking about the Fantastic Four trailer. Everybody's talking about the two big ones. Nobody's talking about this. Do you know what I am glad of though? Nobody's talking about Spectre. I couldn't give a fuck about that film. I have no interest in... Ja- I mean, well, I say I have no interest in James Bond, but I watched Casino Royale, and I watched Quantum of Solace, and I watched uh, Skyfall. Yeah. Like, after they were in the cinema, a couple of months after they came out on DVD, I watched them. Yeah. And I did really enjoy them, but yeah. I'm not excited for Spectre. I'm not going to be like, I have to go see it. No, no, I'm the same. No. We always loved Bond. Wasn't so happy when fucking Craig came along. He just he doesn't, he doesn't say what he is. He's not Bond. But they're still enjoyable films in their own way. But people were going on about this. Oh, I can't wait for the Spectre trailer to fucking to drop. Like, you know, can you not? And you see, what's that guy's name? The foreign fella. Isn't that Tarantino movie? The main villain. Christoph Waltz. Christoph Waltz, yeah. They were like, oh, we get our first look at him in the trailer. And he's all kind of silhouetted. And you get you hear his voice. And those yeah. people wetting themselves watching it. And I'm like, big deal. It's not as if he's doing an accent. He sounds Google. exactly like he always does in every film. He looks exactly like he always does. You can see there's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Weird about the shape of his head. He's not wearing like a fucking Ku Klux yeah. Klan hat. But <laughs> that would be interesting. Do you know what I mean? But that like, a, nothing. Yeah. yeah, that would be a peculiar spin, all right, yeah. So, 7 out of 10 for the Fantastic Four trailer. Yeah. So, who are we putting in second place? Well, this is the thing. Do you want to do like three separate videos or do you want to just do one? Because we kind of talk, we talked for a lot longer about Fantastic Four than I expected we would. Ah, but I'll, I'll trim fucking most of that out. What do you think of uh, Daisy Ridley? Daisy Ridley? Eh? She's uh, she's the one who grabs the... She's the one with that stick who's running with your man. Uh, John Black and Yeah. yeah. The guy who's always sweaty and out of breath. Yeah, he's fucking in literally flawed. every shot. And can I just say, he's supposed to be a stormtrooper. Surely they've got fitness training. Do you know what I mean? You would imagine. Yeah. He, 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 I think so. he just he left home for hours in Haler. Probably, yeah. He's just yeah. struggling. He doesn't want to admit it. Maybe yeah. that's just the way he breathes all of them. It could be. Yeah, only time will tell. That's that's really my only dread about this movie is how he's gonna sound. Is he gonna yeah. sound like someone from EastEnders? <laughs> if he does, I'll walk out. I would literally oh, rather see Jar Jar back on screen than see somebody from EastEnders. You have a little off. I don't think so. I think they're gonna make them put on an accent. Yeah. Or just be breathless all the time so you can't tell what his accent is. <laughs>